If you just walk around here right now and you don't know or put in the atmosphere what you want to do with your life, then you just you just walk around with nothing, empty soul. Think about what joys you put in the atmosphere. Now I kept playing, kept playing a game of football. I put the whole hood on my back. That's when I first started to understand my power. I stood on my truth. By the time my boys were you guys age, eighth grade they dropped out. I had 40 boys dropped out eighth grade. Myself and my brother in the hood. Now it takes a strong man and woman to have to deal with all your peers drop out. Because they always say, whatever you're around, that's what you're going to become. I stood on my truth every day. You got to stand on your truth every single minute of the day or if not, you'll go down the drain. I got boys that did 20 years, 30 years. I burned 17 of my peers before I graduated from college. Mm. 17. 17 that I couldn't even cry no more. I couldn't even shed no tears. My heart, I wanted to cry. I asked my mother, I want to cry, but I can't cry. But the only thing that I had was my hope or what I wanted to be. But I got to high school, I played with such passion. I did the same thing in my education. Ever since I was a legitimate, I said I wanted to be an architect. Everybody in my hood and everywhere said you can't be that. When you got a dream, you got to protect your dream. And I played the game of football as hard as I could. I went to school and I competed on the same level that I did in football in my education. If I got a B, I want an A. If I got an A, I want an A plus. Now I got satisfied. Stayed on the edge, every level. Stayed on my truth. You know right from wrong. Some of these people, some of the kids who won't go to school, they're gonna drop out. They don't have no aspirations. But it takes a stronger man, a stronger woman to know what you want to do and stand on it. That's where your power. Most people don't stand on it. When they fall, you decrease your power. For a little boy tell you, a little girl tell you, let's go do something. You know right from wrong. But when you go do it, that decreases your power. Stand on your truth. Stand on your truth at all times. You got to stand on your truth sometimes from your parents, your peers, your teachers. Stand on your truth being the right. And things will start working towards you. What you want to be in life? Uh, first of all, if that if that had been me um, and a pro football player, I never met a football player until I became whoever Maestro is. I never met a football player, so I mean, y'all were kind of cooling it, chilling it. They somebody had y'all back and was like, "Oh, they in shock." I ain't got enough shock to not ask a you know a NFL football player. Somebody that sat on a football player on a field with wolves. Listen to what I'm telling you. That man sat in a football field with wolves. These guys are not playing for college. College is cute. It's cute. You got Demarcus Ware who said, Cam Newton, oh, you, you know how to dab. I'm going to show you how we dab. I dab for my daughter who's trying to go to Disneyland this year. And this tackle, this football, Super Bowl win, we going to Disneyland. It's different. They get paid. You see what I'm saying? It's wolves. It ain't, it, it's wolves. They out there in the field. The, uh, they say in the NFL, your next potential play could be a car accident. That's how powerful the hits are. So you just, yo, clap it up again for Wally. Please. It's character. Who are you when nobody's watching? If you eat boogers when nobody's watching, then that's just what you do. That's your character. I get you. It's good. That's what you like. You like to get your protein. <laughs> but what I'm saying is, if you make up your bed, let's just start there. I know some parents ready to like, yeah, get them, Maestro, get them. All right? If you make up your bed, just start there. Every single day making up your bed. And watch how that filter. I just left a speaking engagement um, at uh, Antioch Baptist Church. I did a youth conference. And the little girl stood up. She said, my coach. She said, Maestro, this ain't really a question. Like, she like five, right? Five, frankly. And she said, my coach in gymnastics makes me do like so many push-ups 
if we use the word can't. If we use the word cannot, we cannot, like, like, like using the word cannot will get you push-ups. And she said, now I apply. This is a five-year-old. Listen. She said, I do that with school, too, and I got all A's. Oh, you smart. Don't play mama. Don't, you can, no, you can play mama, but you can't play me. I know. Listen, listen, y'all smart. Y'all brilliant. I got kids that's in alternative schools that can make knives out of toothbrushes. Oh, you Bill Gates with it. You smart. Oh, you like to fight? Guess what? Adrian Broner fights. Let's fight. You put on two gloves first, see? You train. And you knock people out and get a check. You knocking people out for free and bruising your knuckles. What? Yeah. Where they do that at? I don't need nobody else to flick their wrist. The, uh, look, ladies, ladies, I don't need you to flick nothing else. We know you tough. I need you to get in formation. That means doing everything I can possibly do today. There is no tomorrow to make my dream get this much closer. That's it. And everything outside of that, let me let me bring this in. Every single thing that is outside of that is what I call white noise. It's just background noise. You know, when you turn on the TV, they call it white noise, right? It's just that little like, like shh, that's that's noise. That's OK. If, 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 if the baby's making noise, that means we got life in here. That's beautiful. All right. So so what I'm saying is it's just noise. It's background noise. Hey, Keisha, I, I never see you at the club. Well, I never see you at the bank. <laughs> Me and the manager at that SunTrust, we on first name basis. And they still look at the flick of the wrist. No, no, no check in their hand. They ain't flicking nothing but their wrist. I'm flicking the wrist with a pin in it and a, and a deposit slip. Look at the flick of the wrist. Woo! Go on to deposit that, bro. I love that. You see what I'm saying? It's a different mindset. It's a different mindset. What's up, YouTube? Is I am excited to update you about our Beyond Music channel. Now you can see interviews, musical covers, and motivational videos with strategies that can help you reach the next level. This is just a small sample of what is to come. Hit the subscribe button, and I cannot wait to see you right here on YouTube. Until next time.